You're watching San Diego's breaking news leader. This is CBS News 8 at 5. Welcome back. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. A new move by the Trump administration is threatening California's new recreational marijuana industry. Attorney General Jeff Sessions is ending a policy that directed federal authorities not to interfere with state marijuana laws. CBS News 8's Brandon Lewis is live with what this could mean for marijuana dispensary owners. Brandon? Yeah, Carlo and Barbara Lee, at this point, the owners are stressing that it is business as usual as far as they are concerned. The directive didn't direct the prosecutors to go out and try to take down the marijuana industry, but it is certainly a cause of concern for some owners. Literally the 25th hour for, you know, the government to come in, the federal government to come in and, you know, cast some unclarity or try to make the situation less clear is, is pretty surprising for us. California's marijuana industry is facing new uncertainty just days after the state legalized personal marijuana sales. Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced the Justice Department is rescinding an Obama-era memo to take a hands-off approach. Marijuana is still illegal at the federal level, despite legalization at the state level. It's business as usual. I think that you know people, sh dispensary owners in particular, you know, they should try to follow the state law. They've all got their licenses. They've been working for months and months and months and getting their businesses legal. And I think they should continue to follow the state laws um, as closely as they possibly can. In fact, California's Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom issued a scathing statement of Sessions' decision, saying, "Quote." This position defies facts and logic, threatens the promise of a safe, stable, and legal regulatory framework being pursued by 29 different states and continues the Trump administration's cynical war on America's largest state, adding, quote, I call on our federal leaders to move quickly to protect states' rights from the harmful effects of this ideological temper tantrum by Jeff Sessions. Sessions is a longtime opponent of legal marijuana sales. In 2016, as a senator, he spoke against it at a committee meeting. We need grown-ups in charge in Washington to say marijuana is not the kind of thing that ought to be legalized. But President Trump seemed to disagree a few months later. But I think in terms of marijuana, I think, and legalization, I think that should be a state issue, state by state. Sessions' decision did not go as far as some advocates feared. It does not direct federal prosecutors to bring more cases, nor does it direct resources to take down the industry. We're hopeful that the Trump administration is just going to continue its promise to let the states decide their laws, and, uh, and we move forward. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders says that the president's position hasn't changed and that he believes that they should continue to enforce federal laws. Now coming up for you new at 630, we'll tell you what this could mean for the medical marijuana industry and why they think could be a different response. I'll send it back to you.